Hi YouTubers, Happy Nappy Kings coming at you again. Um, and before I start talking about what I came on originally to talk about, I just want to say that Lush R&B moisturizer, crap. I know it's gone from a mixed review to I hate that stuff. Seriously, I, okay, hate is a strong word. Yeah, I hate that stuff. I had to wash my hair out the next day with my twist still in because I could not get rid of that scent. It was just so overpowering. I woke up the morning, I could still smell it, went to bed the night, I could st no. I, I, no, it wasn't working. So I had to wash it out, um, co-wash my hair again with a twist and then retwisted it with the um, deep treatment mask and that's what I have in now. And when was that? Um, is that Monday? Because I, I twisted my hair on Sunday, and today is Thursday, and I, you know, I still have my um, twists in now. Anyway, I'm going to be taking them out tomorrow and wearing a twist out. Anyway, so that was the thing I wanted to say before. I wanted to talk about what I want to talk about, and what I want to talk about today. Hopefully, you can tell by the title that I'm going to title this um, is being tired of your natural hair in your journey. Um, I've been natural now for going on nine months, soon to be nine months, coming up in a July. And I was speaking to a friend, and she's been natural the same length of time as I've been. And she's just getting very frustrated with her natural hair. Uh, she finds it hard to um, hard to deal with, um, and it's easier for her when she straightens her hair so she's straightening a lot but again afraid of heat damage so you know just thinking she might just need to relax her hair again personally um, I I kind of understand what she was going through because when I tried to go natural years and years ago and I was transitioning and I didn't do the big chop I was transitioning that's one of the things that was frustrating for me taking care of my natural hair um, at the time I didn't um, I didn't have any kind of natural hair forum so I really didn't know how to take care of my hair and I just got frustrated and, and, and went back to the relaxer so I can understand that kind of frustration that comes with you know dealing with the natural hair when I had a relaxed hair I I, I would just either ponytail or I'd have a short, um, didn't think twice about, you know, straightening um, the flat ironing it every day. Nothing like that. I didn't care about damage. If my hair gets damaged, all I would do is just cut it off because I'd be like, it's hair. It grows back. But now, you know, I'm more conscious about um, taking care of my hair and having my hair healthy. This time around in my natural journey, I've had... I've had very few instances. I I can really only think of one time where for a split second I wanted to, well, I thought about, I didn't want to, I just thought about, oh, wonder if I'm um, going natural, you know, should, wonder if I really should have gone natural. And i tell you what instance that was. Um, and it, watching Kyla, Kyla's mom one video about her, experience when her co-workers, she, she passed her um, colleagues, a couple of her colleagues, and they mentioned something about her hair or the look that she got, and it reminded me of that one, one instance that I experienced, and it was when I went over to a friend's house, and um, she's got three little kids and a little daughter who, I think she's about eight years old or so, and there was a picture of me in this magazine no not a celebrity but there's a picture of me in this magazine and I had straight relaxed hair and she looked at the picture and she looked at me I was sitting beside her and she was like that's you you look wow you look so different in this photo and just for that instance because she said it in a way that was like wow in this photo you look so pretty and Wow, <laughs> you know, and nothing else had changed about me except my hair. And just for that one instance, I was like, I wonder if I really should have gone natural. 
And then the second was up and I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, I love my natural hair. I love how it looks on me. I, I just love my hair. But I haven't had um, any frustrations in terms of how to care for my hair. Um, I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Um, but I just wanted to know if any of you out there, you know, if you've had this kind of frustration with your natural hair and not knowing uh, what to do with it, how to care for it, and what did you do? You know, what did you do to combat that? Um, did you go back to the relaxer or did you continue with your hair just persevered? Um, I just want to really encourage my friend because selfishly I know, you know, what what people do with their hair is their own choice and that's fine. But her, her hair is so beautiful. Seriously, she's got curls that are popping. Her hair is gorgeous. She's experiencing some breakage now. Um, and I'm not sure what's causing that or anything, um, which is one of her frustrations as well with her natural hair because she did an exorcist when she had relaxed hair. But anyway, what I wanted to do is just offer up some encouragement. And if you guys have um, any suggestions, uh, any tips, what she might do to combat breakage, um, just how to um, care for her hair. And, you know, I really don't want her to go back to relax her. I really, really love her natural hair. And I'm hoping that she does stay natural. But if she goes back to relax her, you know, that's her choice. When she is ready, she'll you know, if she, she, she wants to, she'll go back natural again. But I just really want to encourage her because I know sometimes it can be frustrating. And if I didn't have YouTube now, it would be hella frustrating for me. Okay. I, I don't know what my hair would look like. Um, I seriously don't know. Uh, yeah. So if you have any encouraging words, please post them below. Um, just to encourage my friend, um, to keep going natural and give her some tips if you do have any tips. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. But mostly, please comment. Comment on this one. You know, just want to really offer up some encouragement and support to our natural sisters out there. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, and blessed day. Bye. Peace out.